Okay, well, first of all, I wanted to show you what this exciter does with no battery. This is just uh, an LED being lit off of the capacitive, uh, capacitive link between the AC and my exciter, the AC, the stray AC. So, uh, it has a little bit of light. Uh, now, I'm going to, right now, it's connected to, to this battery. And uh, actually the battery is disconnected. I'm going to try to connect it up. Something like that. And uh, see what I can do. Need to fire it up a little bit. So here it is. This is wireless in my exciter. And uh, it's not real bright, you know. Battery is only putting out uh, half a volt, maybe 0.6 uh, of a volt, and uh, a couple milliamps. It's an old cell, carbon aluminum cell that I made a while back, a few months ago. I also have another one here that I wanted to show you, which is this one here. And this cell is a totally dry cell. It's never seen a drop of water. And uh, it only has about a volt, maybe a little tiny bit less than a volt, and uh, about a milliamp or less, but it's totally intact. It's not rusted, it's not uh, anything. And uh, like I said, it's never seen water, it's never had water. So I uh, just wanted to give a little update on this. And uh, it's made in a capacitor can. It's got some white glue on top just to seal it and a carbon rod with an aluminum uh, piece of wire or something sticking out of it for the negative. You can grab the can too as the negative. And anyway, just to get some idea. And uh, this is my exciter setup. Right now it's all disconnected, so I'm not going to try to show you it working, but uh, that's what I've been working on, trying to get these cells working with the exciter setup and uh, see what I can come up with. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, once I get this working, I'll, uh, I'll be glad to upload a couple more videos. Thank you much.